Today's video is sponsored by Butcher Crowd. For 100% grass-fed, pasture-raised, and free-range meat delivered to your door across Australia, head to healthcoachkate.com forward slash butcher crowd. Say hi to Maisie. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning. Before we get into the video, I just want to address the elephant in the room. I have braces. Now, I'm not going to get into why I have braces too much in this video. The gist of it is I am getting double jaw surgery later in the year and you need braces in the lead up to it. My top jaw is too far back. My lower jaw is too far forward. My teeth they kind of meet at the tips, which they're not supposed to, but they don't actually touch, which makes it difficult for me to eat. Anyways, I did a whole video over on my new vlog channel um, talking about why I have braces, talking about the jaw surgery that I'm going to be getting. So I will link that above and you can check it out. Also on that channel, I'm going to be doing some more casual videos, some more behind the scenes, some more stuff that's not necessarily diet related and yeah, just hanging out, casual videos, like I said. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more of that. But anyways, I had to get that out of the way because I know I'm going to get a million and one comments about why I have braces. So now that's done. Today's video is everyone's favorite, a what I eat in a day video. I eat a meat-based keto diet, so mainly meat, mainly carnivore, but some keto-friendly plants. And yeah, we're just going to be going through my day. It's Sunday today, so it's going to be a pretty chill day. I don't have too much planned. I try to give myself the weekends off. Eh, I might do like some Instagram stuff or whatnot. But other than that, just going to be hanging out, doing some stuff around the house. I'm thinking about going for a bike ride this morning. The weather has been so weird here in Adelaide this entire week. It's summer right now. It's February. This is like the hottest month of the year, or it's supposed to be at least. Oh, you're so, so cute. You're so, so cute. But this entire week, I don't even think it's getting above 20 degrees and it's been rainy. Yeah, it's just been weird weather. Anyways, I'm looking outside right now. It is not raining. It looks like it's cool, but not windy. So I'm going to go on a bike ride. And yeah, I will check back in with you guys after that. anything worse than when you put a sweater on and there's a stain on it like oh
comfy, changed my sweater, and now I wanted to do a little bit of a sit down chat with you guys. So last month, January, was World Carnivore Month, and I posted a video at the start of the month letting you guys know that I was participating in it. For those of you who are new to my channel, I usually eat a mainly carnivore diet, meat-based keto, sapien diet, keto carnivore, ketovore, there's so many different names for it. But basically, I eat a diet that is mainly animal foods and then a few keto-friendly plants. But I wanted to challenge myself last month and do full carnivore for the month. Unfortunately, <laughs> that didn't work out so well. And I was about to say I don't know what happened, but I do know what happened. I didn't have a strong enough why, a strong enough reason for sticking to a strict carnivore diet. The way I normally eat is already so close to carnivore that in the beginning I was just forgetting. Like I would make an omelet with eggs, cheese, that would all be carnivore, bacon, and then I would put some olives in, for example, and <laughs> it seemed a little bit silly at that point to be like, okay, I'm just not going to include the olives. My reason for eating a strict carnivore diet in January was just to challenge myself, so that made it difficult for me to stick to. <laughs> And this is one of the number one reasons why I see people fall off the wagon when it comes to keto and carnivore. Their goals are too vague. You need to be really clear about your reason for doing something in order for it to stick. Now, that wasn't the only reason why I couldn't do strict carnivore last month. Honestly, I just had a lot going on as well. A lot of events to go to, a lot of birthdays and whatnot. Most of the time, I eat at home, and whenever I eat at home, I eat carnivore, keto, whatever. When I eat out, I give myself a little bit more leniency. I might have a few more vegetables, a few more carbs. It's no big deal. Um, this works really well for me. But yeah, I just had a lot going on in January. And I mean, if I did have a strong enough why, I could have made it work. I could have stuck to a strict carnivore diet. But because the way I eat already just makes me feel so good and I don't have to be that strict, it just didn't make sense. Anyways, I just wanted to update you guys on that and I also want to give kudos to anyone who was able to stick to carnivore for the whole month of January. A round of applause to you because it isn't easy. People online make it seem easy, but the reality is in real life, it's difficult. So now I'm getting a little bit hungry, so I'm thinking I have some leftover pulled pork that I made the other day, and I'm going to make that into a scramble. My teeth are still pretty sore, so scrambled eggs are honestly the perfect food for me right now. <laughs> Now before we get any further into the video, I wanted to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Butcher Crab. They sponsored one of my videos last month, so you guys might remember them. They are a meat delivery service based in Australia. They deliver 100% grass-fed beef, pasture-raised pork, and pasture-raised chicken all across Australia. They have a wide range of boxes to choose from, and they also have the option to build your own. I believe this is my third or fourth month on their subscription. And honestly, this has been such a time saver for me. Everything comes flash frozen, so I put it in my chest freezer and I take out what I need to defrost the night before. One of the reasons I really like Butcher Crowd, aside from convenience, is that it can be really hard to find quality pork and chicken in Australia. Pork and chicken that is fed its natural diet will be lower in inflammatory omega-6s and also higher in vital nutrients. If you want to try out Butcher Crowd, you can head to healthcoachkate.com forward slash Butcher Crowd and use code Kate15 to save 15% off your first order. They offer free delivery across Australia, and you can cancel your subscription at any time. Thanks again to Butcher Crowd for sponsoring this video.
So for dinner, I'm going to be making lamb euros bowls. And normally I would just dice the lamb and then pan fry it. But again, because my teeth are sore, I'm thinking I'm going to pressure cook it first. And hopefully that will soften it up and make it a bit easier to eat. And then I'm also going to make a homemade tzatziki sauce and then serve the lamb with just a bed of lettuce and maybe some tomatoes and cucumber as well. guys I am going to wrap this video up here so if you did enjoy this video you might also like the videos on my new vlog channel which you can find right here if you want to catch up on my most recent upload you can click here and if you want to check out my keto diet and carnivore diet coaching programs you can find them here thanks guys I'll see you next time bye